What's up guys? It's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com. Um, I wanted to stop and make a video really, really quick. We're in a different setting. We're in my kitchen. I was about to make lunch, but I went upstairs and I saw Blinky um, working furiously on their tunnel system. And I thought I would like to share a story that um, was pretty well loved on her Tumblr blog. So I thought I would just explain it a little bit further because you know, I love sharing stories about my spiders and their weird behaviors. And um, Blinky, even though they're just a little sling, they're a little Arizona blonde sling, despite them being so tiny, um, they are really, really weird. Um, you know that I've loved talking about Spidey. She's my adult Girosea. Um, I love sharing the weird things that she does, but I am learning that um, even the little ones can be super weird. So what I've been observing with Blinky is that, you know, very different from Spidey, this spider will tunnel. It will tunnel and tunnel and tunnel and it loves being underground, so I barely see it. But um, if you guys follow Spidey's Tumblr where I sometimes post about Blinky, you know that I've been having a struggle with the water dish, which is very similar to the, the prior struggles that I've had with Spidey. And so Blinky's been throwing dirt in its water dish and it's like clockwork. It's like every time I fill the water dish up, this spider will fill it. So what had happened with, and this kind of combines the water dish and the tunnel into this crazy thing. So I had to give Blinky a new water dish because they buried their old water dish and made it part of their tunnel system. So I have no idea where the original water dish was. And I'm really sad because it was kind of the perfect size for its enclosure and I don't have anything else um, as good. So the current water dish is kind of a little bit big, but it's okay, it's working. Or so I think it would work. It would work really well if Blinky wasn't putting dirt in it every time I filled it. So yeah, so Blinky has a new water dish and it's currently filled with dirt again. Um, surprise, surprise. And right now on the surface, there's the new big water dish and then there's like just one tiny hole. And the hole is pretty much what I think Blinky is telling me is just so that I can drop food down it, um, which is actually pretty funny because I just tried that um, a few days ago. I dropped a baby roach down there and it just like fell down into the darkness and it was really sad. It made me really sad because you guys know that sometimes I feel really sad when I have to feed my spiders their bugs because I do kind of feel sympathy for all animals and I really do love all animals and creatures. So sometimes I can even feel attached to um, my spider's food, even though I don't even really like cockroaches or, or those kind of bugs. But yeah, so now there's one hole on the top. There's a water dish filled with dirt that Blinky just loves doing, filling with dirt. And I can see Blinky's tunnel system all through the sides of the tank. They're in a round container. So if I just go around the perimeter, I can see all the different like ends of their tunnels that I'm sure meet somewhere in the middle in like this weird labyrinth. Um, it is so interesting because this is behavior that Spidey doesn't do. Spidey, you know, she likes to dig sometimes, but Spidey's never been a tunneler. Um, I don't think that's really part of her species. I know that there are some rose hairs that tunnel, but Spidey's just not very good at it. Um, every time I see her trying to make a tunnel, it collapses or she ruins it, she bulldozes through it. Um, so the most I've ever seen her do really is um, dig and then start a tunnel. She's never really been super successful at that. Blinky on the other hand is like a master of this. It's so exciting to watch. And I wish I could see um, everything that they're doing, but it's all underground and very secretive, so I don't have the opportunity to do so. So, yeah, so Blinky's been tunneling like crazy. Occasionally, I can see them working away when they're near the sides of their tank, but most of the time, I don't really see anything. I just see a lot of this, and um, yeah, there's a, a straight tunnel through the middle, I guess, that the hole leads to, and that's where I drop out in the food. And occasionally I will catch Blinky putting substrate in their water dish. Um, it is full right now. I'm gonna have to break Blinky's heart and clean it out and put more water in there. But I'm sure that in a few hours it's gonna be filled with dirt again because I don't know what's up with this spider. Um, I have seen them drink water before, so I know that they do it. And I know that they like doing it. 
but it's, I don't know. They just, they want dirt in the water dish. They love it. So I, I don't know what's up with that. I know that a lot of tarantulas do this, but um, Blinky seems to really enjoy it. And I like to kind of think that maybe Blinky's playing a game with me, a mean game, but I like to kind of think that this is my and Blinky's thing that we do, because this is definitely a pattern. And um, a few days ago, I was looking into the water dish and seeing what was going on in the tank. And I saw Blinky like almost near the, near the side of the tank near me with some substrate in their petty palps. And I was like thinking like, maybe the, like they're trying to like mock me and throw the substrate at me. I know that some tarantulas do that. That didn't happen, but I don't know. It's just funny. It seemed like they were mocking me of like, look mom, look what I'm about to do. I'm about to put this in my water dish while you are watching me. And don't you dare think about emptying my water dish right now because this dirt is going right in there. Um, so yeah, am I the only one who makes up stories about their tarantulas or, or, or kind of like humanizes their tarantulas? I don't know. I think that a lot of us do this, but maybe I'm the most vocal about it. But anyway, <laughs> so um, I wanted to share that with you. Some fun stuff that Blinky's been doing and that I've seen. Got some pictures. I hope you enjoy the pictures. Um, cause this is like the, I think this is the, the part of tarantula keeping that I really enjoy. Like, yes, I enjoy the feeding. I love the tank decorations. I love, um, I love all of that stuff. Um, well, maybe the feeding, not so much. Um, that part sometimes gets at my heartstrings, but I love the decor. I love just learning about them. But what I really love most is the observation. I love the observation part of this hobby. Um, I apologize for the shaky camera. I'm holding it with my hand and it's getting tired. Um, I really, really enjoy the weird quirkiness of tarantulas. And so that's why I like sharing these stories because I think this is the part that you don't really get from care sheets or watching or um, looking at articles or information on, on tarantula websites. Like, yeah, she'll get the care stuff, but you don't actually get this kind of fun, joyful feedback about like what's actually fun and cool about taking care of tarantulas. It's not just about um, the care stuff or the husbandry stuff. Like there is actually some really interesting behavior that you can observe and just really funny stuff. I, I really enjoy it. I love that part of it. So anyway, guys, um, I would love to hear your fun tarantula stories. I know I share a lot about that on here, but if you guys have any stories, I would love to hear it. Um, and now my phone is getting heavy, so I'm going to stop this video. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. I hope you like the pics and the stories. Take care. Bye-bye.